I thought was Josh Allen, for people who have not seen him throw live before Saturday, even people that are coaches were buzzing about him that night. I mean, just a huge arm, and he showed it off. And Rosen, I think, is as advertised. As the day went on, he got more comfortable. He's got plenty of arm, very accurate at all three levels. And then, of course, Saquon Barkley. I mean, he's one of the highlights at 233 pounds, running 4-4 flat. Checked every single box you can check as a running back. Clean on the field, explosive on the field, and clean off the field. Nick Chubb from Georgia, one of two Georgia tailbacks that look great. They have two distinct styles. I mean, Chubb's more north-south downhill. Came back from a devastating knee injury a couple of years ago. I thought 2016 wasn't quite himself, and then this past year, 17, explosive. Calvin Ridley, oh man. Not only did he run fast, but I thought his field workout was outstanding. He was great. Quick and fast. Gesicki, another of the Penn State kids that tested out of the building. And then he got into the positional drills. He's not a blocker. He's not doesn't have the hip, hip snap and the drive. To, but when you watch just the natural hands, his jump, what did he jump? 41 inches, I believe. Quentin Nelson, you know, did 30-some reps in, in the weight room. If you want to talk about the two best position players in the draft for my money, it's Quentin Nelson and it's Saquon Barkley. And this guy would probably be in the top five in any draft. Bradley Chubb from North Carolina State. 269 pounds, power. Reminds me of Joey Bosa. Tremaine Edmonds, 19 years old, Virginia Tech. The sky is the limit for this young man. Off the ball linebacker could also be an edge rusher. And maybe the star of the weekend and, and just love talking to him on the phone this afternoon, Rich. Shaquem Griffin, 20 reps. Then he got out there. I thought four five five. Um, no, how about four three eight? Mm. And he wants he's just a football player. He doesn't want you to think that he has any kind of impediment. Look at him catch the football. I, I and that was one of the best catches we saw from the linebacking crew. Well, yeah. Real. I, I mean, mean, that's it, not just saying. He's going to kind of ignite a conversation in the football world about where he should go. And, you know, 227-pound linebackers, no matter how fast, don't typically go in the first couple rounds. So it's going to be a really interesting conversation okay. surrounding him. Flies to the football.